Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with my fiance Skylar and our Labradoodle Indio. I am also a full-time content creator, but I do a ton of thrifting for my Boho Home Decor Shop Urban Darling Shop, which is kind of like my passion, hobby, and just like a fun way of making a little bit of extra money. So in today's video, we are doing a haul from my last thrift trip at the Goodwill Outlet Store here in Pittsburgh. If you guys missed it, I will link it for you guys so that you can watch it. But I basically went to one of the Goodwill Outlets, there's three here in Pittsburgh, but I went to one for the first time. And I actually was super happy because I found so many things. It was a really big location and they did a pretty good job of like rotating stuff. So I got to pick through a lot of different stuff and find some really, really good things. I actually found a ton of home decor, but I also found a ton of clothes. So if you guys can see back there, I've got a whole pile of clothes and a little bit more on the floor, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a separate haul video for the clothes. And then this haul video will just be for the decor. I think I picked out a total of like 35 to 40 items, possibly more. And my total was 29. So can't do the math, but basically everything was like just a few cents. So definitely some great savings. So let's go ahead and get into the haul. So I have this huge bag here of baskets, which I'll probably just show you guys last because I've got a couple boxes here that have less stuff in them. So I'll just go through those really quickly. Okay, so first off, I found a set of four crocheted placemats for your table, like a dining table. I was really glad that I found four because I randomly saw one in the bins and then I kind of just dug around in the bins like in that area and then I ended up finding four. They weren't all together, I had to search for them so there possibly could have been more, but I'm glad that I found at least four because I feel like that's a good even number. And if somebody likes that kind of like cottage core look, crocheted placemats would look perfect for that kind of uh, decor setting. I've always loved crochet things like this because my abuelita used to make a ton of crochet for us. So I think for sure somebody will love these and these will be going up in my next drop. Next thing that I picked up is this basket here. And it's in pretty good condition, but the back has like this little bit of like raffia or maybe seagrass, I'm not sure what that is, to tie the lid to the basket. And then it has like this little handle here to lift the basket up. So as you can see, like that still is there holding it together, but it's like a little bit loosey, I would say. So I just want to be transparent about that. This little random thing was on there, but um, I always try to like write those kind of details in my listings just so that you guys know. Really none of these items are like 100% perfect because with thrifted decor, of course, somebody once owned them. So they're always gonna be like slightly worn with love, but that doesn't mean that they don't look amazing because most of them are in pretty good condition, just a little bit of like minor things. So beware of that. Next, I picked up this set of three bowls. So these two were actually taped together and then this one I found randomly somewhere else. So, but it's like the exact same like size and everything as the other three. So they probably did come from the same um, set or whatever. So I found three of them and um, sometimes items get like separated, but I found three of them. It would have been nice to have found like four, but three is a pretty good number. They're great for decor as well. I love using these to hold like rings and jewelry and stuff like that. They look amazing on shelves. And then of course you can use them for serving. They're cute for when you're having like a dinner party or something, just like a nice cute way of displaying stuff that has like a boho feel to it. 
So these will be going up in my next drop. Okay, I have a feeling this is gonna be a really long video because this is the biggest haul that I've ever done. So I'll try to move through things kind of quickly, otherwise it's gonna end up being a very long video. I also found this set of three, um, what are these called? Napkin rings. So for like your like linen um, napkins and stuff for like a more fancy kind of dinner party. I wish I would have found four, but I only found the three. Um, but they're still super cute and maybe you can use them for like a couple of accents or maybe some of you already have similar ones. I also found a set of two mugs. I'm glad I found them together because if you guys have ever been to the Goodwill bins, everything's just like stacked and thrown into like these bins, kind of willy-nilly. These weren't even together. They were completely separate and I just happened to find both of them. So I reunited them and basically it's just a cute little set of boho mugs. And I think for sure somebody will be happy to have these. I'm a sucker for ceramic mugs. I think they look amazing on shelves and I'm still in the process of collecting um, ceramics that I like that fit my style because I kind of want to switch out all of my plates and cups that I've had for like quite some time with like really beautiful handmade ceramics and I think they just look amazing on open shelves which I have in my kitchen so I'm still trying to collect some for myself but I think for sure these would look great in somebody's boho home. Next I picked up this green ceramic vase which I think I'm gonna keep for myself because I'm trying to kind of work some green accents into my apartment. I have a green computer chair on its way. Um, so I kind of want to tie in some green elements. So I'm gonna see if I can find a spot for this in my apartment. I had to take a quick pause because I ran out of space, but let's get back into it. Okay, so next is this little white ceramic dish, which would also be super cute for displaying rings. You can put this on your nightstand, you can put it on your dresser, you could also use it to put soap on in your bathroom. So lots of things that you could definitely use this for and it's just a really pretty way of displaying items. So this will be going up in my next drop. Okay, so the last thing in that box is this ceramic platter. I think it's a platter. I'm not sure what you would exactly call it, but it's like a serving platter thing that is meant to look like a basket. So you can see like this little woven pattern looks, it's like meant to look like a basket, yet it's actually a ceramic. It's very sturdy. It's in great condition. I think just like minor scuffing. I really don't see much scuffing though. I think it just needs to be washed a bit. It may, have, it may have even been handmade actually, because I see some um, etching in the back with some like initials and a date. But anyway, I thought that was a really cool looking item. You could use this on like your kitchen island or on your counter to put like fruits and stuff on, or maybe like somewhere to put mail or something. Lots of things that you could use this for. And this will be going up in my next drop. I may actually be splitting these into a few different drops, so we'll see. I'll have to kind of figure that out. I usually do like five to six items at a time, so keep that in mind. But if you guys do see something in this video that you're interested in, go ahead and comment on this video, or you can always DM the shop's Instagram, which is at Urban Darling Shop, and we can work something out. Okay, last decor piece before we move on to the baskets is this really cool thing here. I don't know what it's called. Um, I actually asked around at a few other um, pickers or whatever you want to call them that were at Goodwill to see if anyone knew what this was and nobody really did. But after looking at it for some time, I think I figured out that you could put like a little flower here maybe and then um, like napkins in these two bigger compartments. And then on the end, you could use this to put like salt, pepper, maybe like um, a, a small like skinny glass of like vinegar and um, oils and like stuff like that. So basically just some, some kind of like a flatware holder. You could put like 
uh, knives, spoons, forks, so kind of like a flatware um, holder display type item. But if you guys know exactly what this is called, please comment down below and let me know. It's always super helpful when you guys do know what something is if I don't know like exactly what the item is. So if you guys do know, please let me know in the comments below. But I'm assuming I'm pretty close to the right use for this. It's made out of wood in good condition, just like minor scuffs probably to the wood. Nothing major at all though, it's in great condition other than that. Oh, I do notice here though on the, on like the rings, those do look like a little bit worn, probably just from like glass bottles sliding in and out all the time. So keep that in mind, but I'll definitely let, list that in the um, listing. Okay, so moving on to my bag of baskets, I was thrilled that I found so many. So the first thing is this basket here, or not basket, this like fan, which it got kind of like bent. Um, unfortunately, they just kind of like, like I said, shove everything in the bin. So a lot of the times baskets and like items like this will get smashed. But I think you could like flatten that out with like a pile of books or something on top of it. But um, I actually have this exact one in my bathroom just hanging on one of my hooks because I think it looks cute and I can always use it if I get too hot while taking a bath. But these are also super cute for like basket walls or just even on like a wall by itself. Obviously lots of cute things that you can do with this. So this will be going up in my next week's drop. I also picked up this super cute little basket here. It does have like a plastic tray insert in there. So you probably could put like a little plant in here, but I love that it has this little handle. I think that just makes it like extra cute. You could also use it as like a little Easter basket for like a toddler or a small child or something. But yeah, I just think that's super cute. Next, I picked up this little duck basket here. I always try to pick up animal baskets whenever I see them. I usually have pretty good luck with them. Um, I've always like sold every single one that I ever have picked up. So whenever I do see an animal basket, I always try to snatch it up. This one has like a cute little ribbon on it. You can always take that off though if you don't like it or if it doesn't like fit your um, color scheme in your home. But yeah, it's in like amazing condition. I love that it has like these little eyes that look like they are made of like wicker too. And then the nose, which is made out of wood. Very sturdy too. Sometimes some of these can be pretty delicate, but this one feels pretty sturdy and it's a nice size that you can use it to like store a few different items. Next, I picked up this more simple basket. It's like a medium sized basket. Um, I think this material is like raffia or seagrass. I'm not 100% positive. I know that I should have that down by now, but it's definitely like that thinner type material that I associate with seagrass. So I think that's what it is. Um, and because of that material, it does make it like a little bit more flimsy, like delicate. Um, it's not one that you'd want to put like a ton of items in. I would even maybe just use this as like a planter type basket. So you would put like your plant pot in here and just dress it up that way. That's actually like the perfect use for this kind of basket, but you can use it to store lighter items like maybe hair accessories or something. Um, yeah, so this will be going up in one of my upcoming drops. I also found this cute little wicker hat that was like probably on a little toy or something, but I think it would look so cute on one of my um, little cacti's or something like that. So I'm gonna just keep this for myself for fun to put on one of my plants. I also picked up this beautiful little wicker basket that um, as you guys can see, somebody painted. So it has like this really cute little pastel color scheme going around it. And um, it is that little bit more delicate type material, like the seagrass or whatever, but it's still fairly sturdy, I would say. Okay, so I keep running out of space because there is just so much to share in this haul, 
but I'm gonna try to quickly finish up here. I've got a few more baskets I wanna show you guys. The next basket is this small oval basket that I picked up in mind to make a basket wall. I think I'm gonna start selling like basket wall, um, what do you call them? Like packets or sets or whatever. So I'm gonna style them on a wall, photograph them, and then sell them like in a basket wall grouping together. So I'm gonna use this basket to do just that. I love this size for basket walls. This is another great basket for a basket wall. I love the purple accent. So like you can kind of get the idea just start kind of like grouping some baskets together. So these two will be great for that. I also picked up this kind of like medium sized basket bowl. Baskets like this are also great on basket walls and it would actually look really good with these ones, but you can also use them as fruit bowls or just to store whatever it is that you might have. So I'll have to think about it. I might end up putting it in a basket wall. It's a little bit warped. Um, which isn't bad for a basketball, obviously, but if it was sitting on a counter, that might be kind of annoying to look at. <laughs> or maybe that's just me because I'm kind of OCD. So I might end up using this for a basket wall. We'll see. I also picked up this basket that is kind of a smaller to medium basket with handles. Um, the handles are in pretty good condition. Keep in mind though that we don't actually know how old these baskets always are. Sometimes you can tell by like how worn the wicker looks. Um, so even though you could definitely have this like on your counter or on um, a shelf or something with some items in it, I wouldn't necessarily be carrying it around everywhere with like heavy stuff in it. So keep that in mind. Um, I did have a basket break recently on its way to a customer. I think just because, um, you know, the UPS delivery guys, sometimes they don't know if something's like super fragile. So they're kind of like rough with it at times. I do try to mark all my um, boxes as fragile, but sometimes it just happens. So this basket would actually be so cute for like an office. You could put it like on your desk and put your like favorite pens and pencils in it. I think that would be super cute. But of course, lots of things that you guys can do with these. I also picked up this unique basket here that is also pastel colored, but like slightly darker colors. And it's a square, it's a little bit more shallow, but it's a really good size for storing items in. It's actually very, very sturdy and in good condition. I don't see anything majorly wrong with it, except for a couple little um, wear and tear marks on the wicker, but definitely a really strong, sturdy basket. So great for storing items. And then the last thing that I picked up is this set. Well, not really a set because I actually kind of just gathered them randomly. There were like a couple together, um, just like randomly, like maybe like these four were together and then the rest of them I kind of just like found um, spread out. So there's about 12 of them and it looks like this set of four are meant to be together. These ones are like in the same tone as well. So I could do, you know, like a set of four, a set of six, and then maybe with the other six, I might end up trying to work them into some basket walls. I'll have to just like look through them and see what kind of condition they're in. Um, because I do like to sell these as sets for plate chargers, but I definitely want to use some of them for my basket walls. So I'll have to figure that out. Okay guys, so that is all of the home decor that I picked up on this thrift trip. Definitely check back for my next video, which will be a haul of all of the clothes that I picked up at the Goodwill outlet on my last thrift trip. Also be sure to follow along on my social media. I post some behind the scenes stuff on my Instagram, which is the Urban Darling. And I also post hauls and thrift with me's on my TikTok, which is the Urban Darling. So be sure to follow along with me on there if you guys want to see more of my thrifting content. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!